हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग अमेजिंग सो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू एट एन राइजर टैलेंट अराइजर टैलेंट इज एन ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर यू कैन गेट द वीडियो लेक्चर रिकॉर्डेड बाय द एक्सपर्ट फैकल्टी ऑफ द कोटा अलॉन्ग विद द कंटेंट वी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड यू द स्टडी मटीरियल सैम्पल पेपर सो टाइम टू टाइम यू कैन एनालाइज योर परफॉर्मेंस यू कैन गेट अ वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ द कोर्सेज एट अराइजर टैलेंट यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर वेदर इट मे बी ऑफ द सी बी एस सी एन टी एस सी जे ई एंड नीट यू विल गेट द कंप्लीट पैकेज अलॉन्ग विद द स्टडी मटीरियल सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू जस्ट सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर गेटिंग अमेजिंग वीडियोज लाइक दिस सो जस्ट प्रेस द बेल आइकन एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ द फिजिक्स दैट इज अबाउट द लाइट एंड इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज अबाउट द टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लैक्शन नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज अबाउट द लेंस अर्लियर वी हैव अ डिस्कशन अबाउट मिरर एंड इट्स रिफ्लैक्शन एंड रिफ्लैक्शन फेनोमेना नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज अबाउट लेंस now this is a very common term you are aware about you have heard that we we can use lens in many electronic or many apparatuses in fact in our eyes we also have a lens so what actually the lens is and what is its functioning and how many types of lens are there and what what type of images they are going to form so in this lecture we are going to clear all the concept regarding lens in our today's lecture so firstly the question arises here what is lens so lens is actually a material or a piece of transparent material that is having a refracting surface so this refracting surface may consist of either both of the spherical surfaces or one spherical and one plane surface so this is going to constitute a lens here now lens are actually used in microscopes binoculars telescope and in many optical instruments you can see we have a wide variety of uses in lens so entire optical industry is running on the lens so lens is actually a very important part in these instruments so firstly what actually the lens is so lens is basically refracting material made up of transparent medium having both spherical surface or one spherical and one plane surface so this is the definition of lens we have so lens are actually the spherical lenses we have so sometimes also we may call it as a spherical lens these lenses are also known as spherical lens so what is lens lens is actually a refracting material or a piece of transparent medium having either two refracting having the refracting surface either both of them are spherical or one spherical and one plane surface so on the basis of these surfaces we have actually the two type of the lenses one is convex and other is concave we already discussed that mirrors are also of two types convex and concave similarly lenses are also divided into two categories that is uh, one is convex and another one will be concave so next thing is about types of lens
So, lens is actually of two types that is convex and concave. Now, this convex lens is also known as a converging lens. Why it is known as the converging lens? Because it has an ability to converge the light rays. And this concave lens is known as a diverging lens because it will divert the light rays incident on it. So, we can say that convex lens or converging lens and this will be our concave lens that will be our diverging lens. And one thing we have discussed that lenses are actually used in microscopes telescopes and other optical instruments. So, these are some of the basic uses of lenses we have. So, what we were discussing, we are talking about convex and concave lens. So, convex lens is also known as a converging lens because it has the ability to converge the light rays. And Concave lens is known as the diverging lens because it is going to diverse all the light rays incident on it. Now, how will be the convex and convex concave lens looks like? So, we will discuss it now and how many type of lenses uh, it can uh, occur in nature and what will be their structure. Let us see here. So, firstly, we are going to deal about the convex lenses. So, first category of the lens we have is about convex lens. We can say it a convex lens or converging lens. Now, how convex lens looks like? Convex lens is are those lenses which are thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. So, I am repeating once again the lenses which are thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges will be called as our convex lens. So, these are the lens which are thicker in middle and thinner at the edges. These lenses will be thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. We can say that such type of lenses will be our convex lens. So, a simple and a very uh, commonly used lens of the convex lens we can draw in such a manner. This is our convex lens. So, you can see that this part is thicker and thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. And in other words, we can also say that both the surface surfaces of the convex lens are bulging outwards. It means both the surfaces are in outward direction. So, we can say that both the surfaces of convex lens are going to bulge outwards. So, they have the bulging part that is in the outward direction. So, I can say that Convex lens are those lenses which are having a bulging surface, reflecting surface bulging outwards. So, this is our simple convex lens. Now, one more definition we will get from here that if refracting surface is bulging outwards. We can say that the lens will be the convex lens. 
so the reflecting surface is going to be bulged outwards now in convex lens we have a different type of the convex lens and all of them are going to possess the different different structure so what will be these structures so this lens that is more common i have drawn here this lens is known as double convex lens this lens is known as double convex lens so this is our first type of the lens that is double convex lens now if i am drawing the structure of the lens like this now what you can see from here you can see that one surface is plane and one surface is bulging outwards it means it is having a one plane surface and one surface which is convex which is a part of convex so i can name it as a plano convex lens it will be our plano convex lens why plano convex lens because one surface is plane and other surface is bulging outwards so what will what we will say we will say that it will be our plano convex lens now the third category of the lens we have is this part now in this diagram you can see that one part is bulging outwards and one is depressed inside so this is a structure of concave convex lens because it is forming by the combination of both so i can say that this will be our concave convex lens so these are the few type of the lenses we have according to their structure now this is the whole thing about the convex lens now the second category of the lenses we have is concave lens which are commonly known as the diverging lens now what are concave lens let's see here from here but before that just copy this part from here now the second category of the lens we have is concave lens now what are concave lens these have these are having a definition just opposite to that of the convex lens convex lens are thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges so these lenses will be thicker in the edges and thinner in the middle so we can say that the lens which are thinner in middle and thicker at edges so such type of the lenses will be our concave lenses so these lenses will be thinner in the middle and thicker at the edges we have now what will happen in case of the concave lens we have both the surfaces it means both the refracting surfaces will be depressed inwards in case of the convex lens we have seen that both the surfaces are bulging outwards but in this case we have both the surfaces and which are actually depressed inwards so how will be the convex concave lens looks like let's see here
This is a diagram for our concave lens and you can see that both the surfaces are somewhat depressed inwards. So, one more definition we can write here. Both surfaces or refracting surfaces are depressed inwards. So, in this case both the surfaces we have are depressed inwards. Now, this is a common concave lens we have and we can also say such type of a lens as a double concave lens. So, I can name it as a double concave lens. So, this will be our double concave lens. Now, if one surface is plane, if one surface is plane and we can draw the other surface like this. So, you can see that one surface is plane and other surface is concave. So, what will be the name of this lens? We can write the name of this lens will be plano concave lens. This will be our plano concave lens. Now, the third category. In the third category, we can draw the structure like this. Suppose we have this structure like this. In this diagram, we can see that one surface is bulging outwards and other one is depressed inwards. It means it is a combination of both concave and convex lens. So, I can name it as a convexo-convex concave lens. Convexo-concave lens. In the earlier picture, we have also seen the concave convex lens. So, what will be the diagram for that? Do not get confused between both them, both of them. So, it will be drawn like this. One surface is bulging outwards and other one is depressed inwards. So, it will be our concave convex lens. So, this will be our concave convex lens. So, this will be our convexo concave and this will be our concavo convex. So, just see both the diagrams and try to differentiate between both of them. So, this is about the simple things about the convex and the concave lens we have seen. Now, just like the terms we have discussed in the mirror like focus, principal axis and pole, similar terms are also uh, present in that in lens also. So, let us discuss some of the important terms that are related to the lens and in this chapter or in this topic we have to deal with two important terms that is about the optical focus and the principal focus. So, just copy this part from here so we can proceed to our next part. Now, we will deal with some of the important definitions that are related to lenses.
This is the diagram showing the optical center of the convex lens. Now, what actually the optical center is? So, firstly, let's understand all these symbols in this diagram so we can define what is optical center in case of the lens. Just like we have discussed that there will be a term pole that we have discussed in the mirrors. So, pole of the mirror is actually the center part of the mirror. Now, what is optical center? In this lens, we have to discuss about the optical center. Now, you can see that we have taken the mirrors and this is forming a convex lens. This is a structure of convex lens because both the surfaces are bulging outwards. Now, what will happen? Both the lenses will have C1 and C2 as a center of curvature. This is what? This is our principal axis and these are the radii of curvature of both the mirrors we have taken. Now what will happen? When a ray of light is incident on a convex lens, then after refraction, the incident and the emergent rays will be parallel and on the principal axis where the refracted ray intersect will be called as the optical center of that particular lens. I am repeating once again. When a ray of light is incident on any lens, after refraction, we, can, we have seen that the incident and the emergent rays are parallel to each other. Then after refraction, there is a point on the principal axis that where the refracted ray is going to intersect and this point will be known as the optical center of a lens and it is denoted by the O. This is a symbol O, so this will be our optical center. So let's write the definition of the optical center of the lens. If ray of light is incident on a lens, then after refraction, which rays are going to be parallel? Incident and parallel, incident and emergent rays are parallel to each other incident and emergent ray are parallel to each other and the refracted ray is going to intersect at a point on the principal axis and that point will be our optical center. So, refracted ray intersect the principal axis at a point that point is optical center so this is the whole thing about optical center now what you have seen here, you have seen the optical center in case of the convex lens. This is forming a convex part you can see here. Now let us see where the optical center is formed in case of the concave lenses we have. So let us discuss about the optical center in case of concave lens.
Now, this is the case we have seen here. The optical center we have to locate in case of the concave mirrors. How the concave mirror is forming? You can see that this is a part of the concave mirror we have. It means both the surfaces are depressed inwards. So, how you will locate the optical center in case of the concave lens? Similar definition we will use, and the optical center is going to lie in the central part of the principal axis of the lens. So, this is the optical center we have. So, this is the optical center of concave lens and what will be the definition? Similar definition we can write if incident ray, if a ray of light is incident on a lens, you can see that after refraction the incident and the emergent rays are parallel and the reflected ray will going to intersect the principal axis at a point and that point will be the optical center. So, similar definition will be applied for the optical center of the concave lens. So, in some important definitions what we have discussed, we have discussed a very important term that is the optical center of the lens. Now, our second term is about the principal focus and the focal plane of the mirror. So, just copy this from here so we can proceed to the next part. Now, the second term is about the principal focus. The second term is first principal focus or first focal plane. Now, what will be the first principal focus or the focal plane in case of convex and the concave lens? So, if a ray of light is incident on any surface, then after striking through the surface, it is going to parallel to the principal axis. The light ray will go parallel to the principal axis. And in case of the convex lens, we are getting a converging form of light. It means rays are going to converge at a point. But what will happen in case of the concave lens? In case of concave lens, you can see that the light rays will be diverging at some point. So, what will be the structure, what will be the diagrammatic representation or the diagram representing this principal focus? Let us see here. So, firstly, what we have to do? We have to draw a convex lens. This is our convex lens. This will be our principal axis. This will be the optical center of the lens. This is optical center and this is what? This is our principal axis. Now, what will happen if a ray of light is incident on this lens. So, if I am assuming that the rays of light are going to incident from this point. These are the rays of light coming from this side. Then after refraction through the lens, the rays are going to converge at a point. The rays are going to converge at a point. So, this is our principal axis and after refraction through this lens, the rays are going to converge at a point. And what is the name of this point? This point will be our focus. F will be our focus and this focus can be called as a first principal focus because after first refraction, the light rays are going to converge at a point. So, this will be our 
principal focus and you can see that a plane that is perpendicular to the principal axis lying just above that this is our principal axis and the plane which is perpendicular to it is known as a focal plane so this is our first principal focus and this is our focal plane so this is in case of the convex lens we have seen so the first part is about about convex lens now let's see what will happen in case of a concave lens so the second thing is about concave lens so this is our con concave lens when the light ray is incident on this concave lens what will happen this is our principal axis and this is what this is our optical center now when a ray of light is incident on this concave lens we know that concave lens are our diverging lenses so they is they are not going to converge the light rays as a, at a single point in, in fact they are going to diverge all, all light rays so what will happen in this case in this case you can see that there will be the diversion from the light rays so in case of concave lens we can see that let's draw it again this is our concave lens and what will happen in this case this is our principal axis and this will be our optical center now what will happen in this case when a light ray is going to strike this surface so i am drawing the light rays like this this is how the concave lens is having its first principal focus so in case of the concave lens we have seen that the light rays will not going to converge but they appear to converge at a point so it means they will always give you a virtual focus in case of the concave lens and you can see that in convex lens we are uh, seeing that the light rays are going to converge at a point so if light rays are going to converge at a point that point will be known as your principal focus now this is our first principal focus in both the cases and we can denote the first principal focus by f or f dash this is our first principal focus now the distance between the optical center and first principal focus will be known as our focal length so this is what this is our optical center and this is our focus so the distance between them this distance will be known as our focal length and we can say this is our first focal length so this will be denoted by small f now this is our optical center and this is our focus and in case of concave lens this will be our focal length so we have seen that 
this is the first principal focus and this is our focal length and what is focal plane a plane which is perpendicular to that principal as axis passing through this point will be known as our focal plane so these are the terms we have seen here that what is first principal focus what is focal plane and what exactly the focal length so this is the case we have discussed the first principal focus now let's see what will be the second principal focus So the second thing is about second principal focus. Now similarly if I am assuming the first lens convex lens, this is our convex lens, this will be our principal axis. this will be our optical center now if a light rays are incident on a convex lens if a light rays are going to incident on a convex lens you can see that after refraction the light rays are going to converge at a point because in convex lens we will always get a converging light rays these light rays after refraction will going to converge at a point and this point now in this case will be our second principal focus and we can write it as a f2 this is our second principal focus and the distance between the second principal focus and optical center will be our second focal length so now we will get the focal length here so this is our optical center and this is our second principal focus so I can write it as a second principal focus. Now what will be the focal plane? The plane which is passing through this point and perpendicular to the principal axis will be called as a focal plane. So this is the first part we have seen that is in case of the convex lens. Now. The second thing is about the concave lens. So let's see what will happen in case of the concave lens. So the second part is about concave lens. Now in case of the concave lens, we have seen that this is our principal axis. This is our principal axis. And what is this? This is our optical center. This is our optical center. Now, what will happen when a light ray is going to pass, when a light ray is going to incident in this concave lens, you can see that after refraction, they are going to appear as a converging but in fact these are the diverging rays we are getting in case of the concave lens and after suffering refraction they are going to pass through this uh, system parallel to the principal axis we will get the light rays which are actually parallel to the principal axis so what will happen in this case So this is the case of concave lens. You can see that the light rays after having a refraction will go parallel to the principal axis and they are appearing to converge at a point but actually we will get the diverging rays in case of the concave lens. Now what is this point? This point will be the focus here. This is our focus and this focus will be known as a second principal focus. 
this will be our second principal focus. So, we will get a second principal focus here and the distance between the optical center and this, this focus will be known as our focal length and we can denote it by a f2 or f double dash. So, this will be the focal length and what is focal plane? A plane passing through this point and perpendicular to the principal and uh, the plane passing through this point and perpendicular to the principal axis will be known as our focal plane. So, we have seen that we are getting three terms here. The three terms are optical center, first principal focus, second principal focus and accordingly their focal length. So, these are some important terms related to the lenses we have. Now, in both the lenses you have seen that in convex one we are getting a virtual focus and we are getting a real focus and in concave one we are just getting a virtual focus. So, if we are talking about the focal length we will always take a positive one for the convex lens and negative for the concave one. So, what we have seen here we have two type of the lenses that is the convex and concave. If I am going to write the sign convention for this, this is giving you a real focus and this is given giving you a virtual focus. Is it all right? We are getting these two focus here. So, sign convention for the focal length will be positive for the convex one and it will be negative for the concave one. So, this is the thing you have to remind on by on solving numericals. So, this is an important thing you have to keep in your mind. So, second case will be about the concave lens. So, now in case of concave lens you can see that this will be our concave lens and this is our principal axis. This will be our optical center. Now, if light rays are incident from here, you can see that if a light ray is going to be incident from this part on a concave lens, they are not going to converge at a point. In fact, they appear to be converged, but actually they are diverging at some point. So, what you will get here, we will get that So, it means after refraction the rays are going to appear as a converging but in fact these rays are diverged at a point and the point here we are getting is known as the second principal focus. So, this is the second principal focus in case of the concave lens. Now, you can see that this is our optical center and this is our focus. So, the distance between the optical center and focus will be known as our focal length. So, this is our focal length. So, this is how the focus second principal focus can be determined in case of the convex and concave lens. So, in our today's lecture we have we have discussed about the three important terms that is about the optical center, first principal focus and second principal focus. So, now if we are using convex and concave lens you can see here that convex lens is forming a real focus. We are getting a real foci in the case of convex lens, but in the co case of concave lens you are getting the virtual focus. So, if on solving numericals if we are substituting the values for the focal length we will always take focal length positive for the concave convex lens and focal length negative for concave lens. So, this is the sign convention we are going to use in our numerical problems. So, Today we have discussed about the lenses and some important terms. Now we are left with the image formation by the lens and lens formula that we are going to discuss in our next lecture. So 
just subscribe our channel and get notifications of each and every video you are searching for so this lecture is over here thank you so much and have a nice day